counters. Counters used in PLCs serve the same function as mechanical counters. Counters compare an accumulated value to a preset value to control circuit functions. Control applications that commonly use counters include the following, count to a preset value and cause an event to occur. Cause an event to occur until the count reaches a preset value. A machine, for example, may use a counter to count bottles into groups of six for packaging. Counters are represented by boxes in ladder logic. Counters increment or decrement one count each time the input transitions from off, logic 0, to on, logic 1. The counters are reset when a reset instruction is executed. S7200 uses three types of counters, up counter, CTU, down counter, CTD, and up or down counter, CTUD. S7200 counters. There are 256 counters in the S7200, numbered C0 through C255. The same number cannot be assigned to more than one counter. For example, if an up counter is assigned number 45, a down counter cannot also be assigned number 45. The maximum count value of a counter is plus or minus 32,767. Up counter. The up counter counts up from a current value to a preset value, PV. Input CU is the count input. Each time CU transitions from a logic 0 to a logic 1 the counter increments by a count of 1. Input R is the reset. A preset count value is stored in PV input. If the current count is equal to or greater than the preset value stored in PV, the output bit, Q, turns on, not shown. Down counter. The down counter counts down from the preset value, PV, each time CD transitions from a logic 0 to a logic 1. When the current value is equal to zero the counter output bit, Q, turns on, not shown. The counter resets and loads the current value with the preset value, PV, when the load input, LD, is enabled. Up slash down counter. The up or down counter counts up or down from the preset value each time either CD or CU transitions from a logic 0 to a logic 1. When the current value is equal to the preset value, the output CHU turns on. When the current value, CV, is equal to 0, the output QD turns on. The counter loads the current value, CV with the preset value, PV, when the load input, LD, is enabled. Similarly, the counter resets and loads the current value, CV, with zero when the reset, R, is enabled. The counter stops counting when it reaches preset or zero. Counter example. A counter might be used to keep track of the number of vehicles in a parking lot. As vehicles enter the lot through an entrance gate, the counter counts up. As vehicles exit the lot through an exit gate, the counter counts down. When the lot is full a sign at the entrance gate turns on indicating the lot is full. Up or down counter C48 is used in this example. A switch connected to the entrance gate, has been wired to input I0.0. A switch, connected to the exit gate, has been wired to input I0.1. A reset switch, located at the collection booth, has been wired to input I0.2. The parking lot has 150 parking spaces. This value has been stored in the preset value, PV. 
the counter output has been directed to output Q0.1. Output 2 is connected to a parking lot full sign. As cars enter the lot the entrance gate opens. Input I0.0 transitions from a logic 0 to a logic 1, incrementing the count by 1. As cars leave the lot the exit gate opens. Input I0.1 transitions from a logic 0 to a logic 1, decrementing the count by 1. When the count has reached 150 output Q0.1 transitions from a logic 0 to a logic 1. The parking lot full sign illuminates. When a car exits, decrementing the count to 149, the sign turns off.